hey guys welcome back to the channel so today is tuesday my cleaning day so trey's days off are sunday monday and that's why i usually do a bigger clean on tuesday i like to clean up as we go throughout the week and like wipe down the counters every day or every other day i actually run the robot vacuum every other day and i go through and actually hand vacuum when i see things on the floor so i don't just clean once a week but i do film my cleaning once a week so anyhow trey just left for work and now i'm going to start cleaning up and this week is a little different um my parents are actually coming in i'm going to actually like also disinfect a few times and i'm actually going to be doing this cleaning routine pretty much saturday again fully because i want to disinfect and make sure the house is clean and germ free before my parents get here sounds weird but you know you're just trying to keep everything nice and clean and extra germ free anywho if you like the video and you like these cleaning videos on tuesdays like the video comment down below and subscribe to the channel and i will see you in my other tuesday cleaning videos or my grocery hauls which happen to be on fridays it looks like right now anywho we'll see just subscribe i'd appreciate it okay thanks so I'm putting away our homemade flavored kefir here and there's another drawer that you see out and that's actually a kefir going through the first fermentation process. The second fermentation process is the are the ones that I put actually back in the fridge. But that's nor here nor there now because I've moved on from that and now I'm just, you know, wiping down anything and everything that I see on the walls or the counters or like the sides of things. just me but one cleaning the microwave it's not hard so much as it's like annoying because I can't really reach in there fully so then I have to end up getting a step stool like you see now so I can actually get all up in there and get everything out that I see on like the microwave walls I don't know I just also hate cleaning the microwave in a weird way because then I can never put the little tray and like thing back right like you see me messing with the little plate thing so I'm like I don't even know if this is on right but yeah and also this day I decided to wipe down all the appliances on top of, you know, all the like fronts of cabinets and drawers and things like that. And I previously cleaned the inside of our oven, but I just wanted to give the inside door another like wipe down, even though we haven't used the oven since I cleaned it. But I just feel like oven doors just never look clean. And then I'm obviously giving down, giving our espresso machine a little wipe down there. And you see the little plastic bag in the corner. So... I do this thing where I use little Walmart bags as like trash bags essentially again. So I just take the trash out every day or every few hours pretty much. And then we just don't have stinky trash in the house. Or I just don't feel like putting a bunch of like things in the trash can like papers or produce. Like things that either smell or eventually will smell. Or things that like take up a bunch of room in the trash can and I'm just like I don't need to shove all the mail in there I can just drop the mail in the trash can or burn it you know and now I'm actually taking this overly ripe banana and putting it in a little bag to put in the freezer for our kefirs you know in the future because there's no point in just throwing it out <laughs> through all this like cleaning stuff even though it's, this is like usually what I clean I'm doing some extra things like wiping down the appliances and whatnot mainly because I don't do it all the time and I know I probably I don't need to do it all the time but I should do it a little more maybe once a month or so but I'm also prepping for my parents to come visit and I don't know I just clean when I'm like getting ready for people to come over and I'm also disinfecting things like our remotes and stuff that's more of the whole coronavirus thing going on right now, woo. Um, 
I usually disinfect mainly in the winter time more than anything. Like I'll go around with Clorox wipes once a month or every other week. And I felt like the cold and the flu thing was done. You know, the temperature's been warming up over here in Pennsylvania, but clearly not because now there's a freaking virus. So now I'm like, all right, I should still be disinfecting. Just probably doing it a little more often now because of the virus. So now to clean the shower, I have this like gritty powder cleaner and it actually says do not mix with bleach. So that's why I want to show you like, no, don't mix those together. So I just put that in the shower. I, the shower was already wet because I had already showered for the day. So I just took a little scrubby brush and the grittiness of the like powder cleaner and the brush and everything, it just works so nicely to clean out the shower. It's seriously unreal. <laughs> to fold the most amount of laundry ever. So I just threw on a YouTube video on the TV and I'm like mindlessly folding. I ended up doing two loads of laundry this week, which pretty much every other week I do two loads of laundry. And then in between those weeks, I just do one load. Cause it's just me and Trey. We really don't wear like that many crazy amounts of clothes, you know, like, I mean, I'm in my pajamas in this. So there's never like a huge amount of laundry to do every week but about every other week i have to do two loads you know like delicates and normals pretty much and this just happened to be one of those two load type of weeks and it reminded me how much i hate doing two loads in a week mainly because just when i think i'm done i'm not like this was just one load that i'm folding up here and then not to mention all the socks that i have to match luckily we don't have like a plethora of different types of socks. Trey wears about the same socks, like the same brand or type with those socks that I'm folding up right there. And they're pretty easy to distinguish. So that's good. And I just get all plain black socks. So I don't even have to have to match my own socks anymore, which is amazing. But yeah, watching this sped up looks so nice. Cause I love seeing the laundry folded and in piles, but oh my God, when I was doing it at one point, I literally felt like, oh, there's a second load. I literally felt like I was a zombie inside. Like I was just zoning out, folding shit and watching YouTube videos, but like I wasn't actually watching the video if that makes any sense. <laughs>
Now, honestly, for this, I'm like impressed with myself because I washed and dried the laundry earlier that morning, and then obviously I'm I folded it. You just saw me fold it, and now I'm putting it away. Like that never happens, and I don't think I'm the only one that this goes that goes through this because there are plenty of memes online about you know how it takes like seven to ten business days to put away folded laundry to fold laundry and put it away, whatever. Literally, that is me. Except usually it's like three or four days before I actually put it away. I can fold it the next day usually, but it's just putting it away part is annoying. And it's mainly because um, Trey's drawers are kind of a hot mess. Like I fold things and put them away nicely and I don't know what he does to them, but they're not folded and nicely put away and fitted into the drawers when I have to do laundry and put things back. So then I have to like refold some things and refit them and move things around because I just don't understand what happens to Trey's drawers. And even like that little closet in the back is like all his and the same thing happens back there. So now I'm actually putting together a nightstand. So I ordered two nightstands for our bedroom. One came a few days ago on Monday and this was Wednesday when the second one got delivered because you know UPS wanted to fucking play me and lost one but didn't lose the other. So that's why one got here on Monday and the other one got here on Wednesday. But anywho. So I'm just putting it together and I was actually talking to my best friend Nikki on the phone at a certain point. I don't think, I think I was talking to her by this clip already. So I was just screwing everything in. It wasn't too bad, especially since I had already done it, you know, a few days ago. And I do like the nightstands. They go really well for what I think is our bedroom aesthetic. Trey likes it. He's nor here nor there, but I feel like that's kind of a guy thing to just like want functionality and not really care how it looks. These are functional for us because it's one drawer and like an open shelf area that I can put like a little basket in or just leave it open. So that's worked out really nicely for us. This day I actually did not organize and like switch out all of Trey stuff because the first one I put together I just threw on my side because I had the smaller nightstand originally. And so this day I ended up just putting it in the bedroom but not like moving anything out of Trey's previous nightstand. But I actually did that yesterday on Thursday. And it looks so nice now to get his old nightstand out of there. I actually just put it in our closet because it's good for storage. It just wasn't good for looking at, you know. Um, but yeah, and Trey likes it. He was like, he doesn't feel like it's super small or anything, especially since his old nightstand was like double the size of this one. So I'm glad he likes it too because Ultimately, this is a nightstand on his side of the bed. So if anything, I was actually going to order a third one so that he could have like double the surface area and whatnot, but he doesn't feel like he needs it. So that is a-okay with me. So that's actually going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below, you know, the whole shebang. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.